Hello everybody and happy 2020-21 school year. I'm Miss Marshall and I'm just going to walk you through our first engineering assignment which is to make our digital agenda. Now obviously this school year looks a lot different than school years past since we are starting off virtually. And even then, uh, our virtual learning this year looks a little different than it did at the end of last year. So we're doing this agenda assignment to go over some of those key scheduling differences, as well as to take a quick look at our new platform, Schoology, and to start looking at spreadsheets. The first thing that we'll be doing is opening up a new spreadsheet. Now that we've all got our Chromebooks and we can log on to Google Chrome at home, um, there are a couple of different ways that you can start a spreadsheet. Since we'll be using Google Sheets, that is a web-based um, app that saves automatically to our Google Drive. The first thing, if we can go to a new tab, the first way to open a new sheet would be by clicking on this waffle icon right here in the corner. This waffle icon shows us all of our Google apps, so it's a quick way to get to all of these different things. And we can scroll down and click on Sheets. And that opens up a new window for us uh, where we can see we can start a new spreadsheet. We can either pick from a blank spreadsheet or we can go ahead and pick any of these fun templates. Uh, now for this assignment, you are more than welcome to just do the blank sheet. If you want to play around with the templates though, feel free. A lot of these do have some advanced features that you might have to edit. So the blank sheet's probably going to be easiest, but if you want to play around, feel free to do that. The other way to make a new sheet is if you're already in your Google Drive and you click on this new button up here in the left corner, you'll see that Google Sheets is one of the options. And it's got this little sideways carrot that if you hover over it, you can see it allows you to either pick that blank spreadsheet or again, explore those templates. But I've got my new sheet over here. And the very first thing that I want to do whenever I start a new thing in Google is I want to rename it. Otherwise, I'm going to have a bunch of untitled things, and untitled things are really hard to sort through. Uh, so whatever you're opening, as soon as you open it, first thing, give it a name. This is our digital agenda assignment, so I'm just going to name it Ms. Marshall's Digital Agenda. Now, as we're working in Sheets, there are a couple of terms you're going to hear me use, and I want to make sure that you all know what I'm talking about, so I'm going to explain them real fast. The first one is when I'm talking about columns, I'm talking about these vertical lines. So you can see they're labeled A, B, C, and so on. They go all the way down the alphabet. Um, so whenever I'm talking about a column, I'm referring to this up and down vertical line. We also have rows, which are our left to right or horizontal lines. They're labeled with numbers, one, two, three, four, and so on. The place where a column and a row meet, this little block right here, this is called a cell. This is where you can actually type and start entering your information or your data. And cells are labeled by their column letter and row number. So if you hear me referring to cell C4, I'm talking about this little cell right here. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and start building our agenda. We know from the assignment that was posted on Schoology that there are some basic things you need to include. So let's start by making headers and we can fill in the columns from there. The first thing we know that we need is our period number. We also know that we need the name of each class. We know that we need to know our teacher, as well as what days our class meets on. We want to know the time that it starts and the time that it ends. And we also want to know our teacher's after school day. Each of your teachers is going to be available one day after school. So that means from the time 2.15 until I think 3.25, uh, your teacher is going to be available during that time for extra help outside of class. It's almost as if you were staying after school on a normal school day, 
um, for that extra assistance. And the last thing we need is going to be our teacher's email. This way we can get a hold of them in case we need to set up a time to stay after school or in case we have a quick question. Now we're going to fill in all of this information for all of our classes. And since these are our headers, they're like our titles, I'm going to go ahead and bold them so that they're a little bit easier to see. Now real fast, I'm going to do that a little bit more slowly because you might have noticed I clicked on one cell and dragged my mouse and you can see how it starts highlighting all these other cells as well. So I'm going to select all of them by clicking and dragging and then click the bold button up here at the top. And for formatting purposes, let's just go ahead and center all that text. You might notice that in column G, I've got this one cell that the text doesn't quite fit. If I widen column G a little bit, it fits a little bit better. So now I've got my basics set up. I know this is all the information I need to fill in. Let's start by filling in the easy things. Period numbers are probably the easiest because we still have eight class periods. Now I get to do this kind of fast, and you'll notice that my cursor is going to stay exactly where it's at, even as I type in all of the class period numbers. That's because when we're working in a spreadsheet, you don't have to physically click in each cell to type in it. Instead, you can go ahead and click on the first cell and start typing, and then when you're ready to move down a row, you just hit the Enter key. And there you go. So you can enter information really quickly. You don't have to physically click in every cell if you're just going down a row. If you wanted to move to the side, then you can click the tab key. So if I had already clicked in this cell to type period three and I want to move over, I can just hit tab and then I can start typing in that next cell. So that's going to help us navigate our spreadsheet a little bit more quickly. So period number was probably the easiest thing for us to fill in. That's going to look the same for all of us. Your classes are going to look different. Um, you're going to have to go to, through your own schedule and fill that in based on what you're seeing in SIS and or in Schoology. And you're going to grab your teacher name for all of those as well. Something that is going to look the same for everyone is the class days. Again, we are seeing each other twice a week this time around, um, and we have odd days and even days. So Tuesday, Thursdays are our odd days. Wednesday, Fridays are our even days. Now you can see as I start typing in T again, it's trying to pre-populate it for me, which is awesome uh, because it's going to go back and forth between Tuesday, Thursday and Wednesday, Friday. So I can just make this a little bit faster for myself. And there we go. So now I've got all of my odd classes marked as Tuesday, Thursday and all of my even classes marked as Wednesday, Friday. The next bit is the super fun part. Uh, and it's important for us to know what time our classes start and what time our classes end. Our classes are longer this time, so we're going to be in each class for 80 minutes. It's almost like we're in a block class um, during a normal school year. So both of our first classes in the morning, whether it's on Tuesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Friday, our first class is going to start at 7.30 a.m. And that first class of the day goes for 80 minutes, which means that it ends at 8.50. Our second class, which is either going to be third period rock block or your fourth period, that starts at 9.05. So you'll notice that between your first class of the day and your second class of the day, you're going to have a nice 15 minute break to get up, use the bathroom, stretch, move around a little bit. Um, and definitely take those breaks to get some, some motion in your body because uh, otherwise it's going to be a long day of sitting in front of a screen. And that second class goes from 9.05 to 10.25. 
Now after your second class of the day, that's when we're going to have our lunch break. So I'm actually going to come over here um, to where my row numbers are and I'm going to left click on row 5 so that I can insert one below. This is going to add a blank row in there for me because I just want to note that we have a lunch break. And that lunch break is every day. So I'm going to put Tuesday through Friday. We don't have a class or a teacher for that, so I'm just going to black those cells out. And that lunch break runs from 10.35 to 11.10. Also, there's no after school day or teacher email, so there we go. After lunch, you're gonna have either fifth or sixth period, so that's gonna go from 11.20 until 12.00. 40. Then we have our 15 minute break, uh, meaning that our final class of the day goes from 12.55 until 2.15. So that is our new schedule that we are going to be looking at this year. Uh, and it's gonna be Tuesday through Friday that we're looking at these times. As for the after school day, again, that's gonna be information that you have to find uh, as well as your teacher email. Now, one last thing before we go searching for some information is we've got this nice little table up here, but we also have so much spreadsheet left that is empty. We don't need to worry about that, um, but one thing that I like to do is give a little border to my table. So I'm going to select all of my table and I'm going to come up here to my toolbar where I've got this cool borders tool. So it's next to our text and fill options, we've got borders. I'm going to put borders around all of the cells. So that gives me this nice table right here so I can follow a row on over and my eye is just drawn to this portion of the page. It makes it feel a little bit more organized. So this is going to be our template for our agenda. On Schoology, on the assignment, there is a template that you can make a copy of and fill in for yourself. If that is what you are choosing to do, please remember to change the name of it. Please don't turn in a spreadsheet that is named copy of Miss Marshall's digital agenda. Uh, rename it so that it's your digital agenda and make sure that you're filling in your information. One tip that I have for you slash one cool thing that Schoology does, um, as we're looking for our teacher's information, this might be on their Schoology page. So I'm gonna show us that real fast. If we go to Schoology and we go to our class, if we look at the members of our class, we should be able to see our teacher and our classmates. So if I click on my teacher's name, I can click their profile, and each of our teachers probably has uploaded some basic information about themselves, including their email address. So that is one place that you could find that email and also learn some fun facts about your teachers if they filled this out. So we can copy that and paste it right on over here into that email 